At the time of composing this piece of music, Johann Sebastian Bach was really pushing the, the technicalities of the sound and the technicalities of the instrument and the technicalities of the players. And I felt with this piece, I wanted myself to really push the dancers and to really find something within them that I hadn't found before. So I came into the studio with a few ideas that could provoke from each dancer um, a sentence, a dance, a sequence of movement. So I wanted to start with each dancer individually, a very much one-to-one. -one. And I said to the dancers, you choose your own, you choose which way you want to start, and I'll hold your hand and, and take that journey with you. And that's how it all started. Then these unique individual uh, sequences of movement started to, to become duets and to become trios and to become the work, to evolve and to develop into two in the mind. With the sound of the violin, I really love the variety of colors that you get because there's a very raw, lower pitch. But then you also have these beautiful and fine and ethereal notes at the very top of the register that really speak to me and that I really connect with. So every time that I listen to these partitas, and to the music of Bach, I really think about passion, and I think about intensity, and the physicality of the sound. And also, it's very clear for me the, the complexity of the musical structure, which is something that I always feel very motivated and very inspired by. Even before I totally committed to using um, the music by Bach, I knew that I had a wish, which was that Veronique Serret would play the music live. And she's an amazing, talented musician that I admire. So I asked her, and thankfully she said yes. So I had her in the team, wanting to take this journey and this adventure. And then um, that was all I needed to, to then throw myself into it. Well, I spent quite a few months listening to the music and visualizing and imagining what this piece could become uh, beyond a piece of music but a theatrical event, a dance work. So I felt like it needed space and it needed breath and what could that be? Would that be silence? What could it be? And I was talking to, to Nick Wiles, uh, the composer, about doing this project and how I was maybe thinking about bringing an element from now, an element that maybe was electronic music, something that would be a modern counterpoint. So he took on the challenge and he's made these wonderful interludes that happen between each section that take the, the piece into another world. So we were playing between two worlds. 